the challenge of the Yukon. King, the swiftest, strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the Yukon during the gold rush of 98. That was the year that brought over 50,000 men swarming into the Klondike region, and the greed for gold led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, the force preserved a splendid record in maintaining the right. The challenge of the North was answered, and justice ruled triumphant. <laughs> As Sergeant Preston busied himself breaking camp shortly after the light of day across the Yukon, he spoke at intervals, half to himself, half to King. Yes, King. Enough time's been wasted already. <laughs> Those crooks have had the run of the Yukon for four months. <laughs> and I guess that's everything. We've got to put an end to this reign of terror. Trappers are afraid to bring their furs to trading posts. Mask robbers holding them up. Yet, where are they hiding the stolen furs? Well, King, we may soon have the answers to a lot of questions. Set the dogs up, King. I'm King! I'm you husky! Several miles further north along the trail traveled by the Mountie and his lead dog, King, Joe Simon sat at his desk in the cabin that served as headquarters for his freight line, the only one of its kind in the Yukon. Hmm. Not bad. Besides paying off the boys, clearing expenses, the cold 10000 in profit. Yeah, that's the way I like to see a set of books look. Hey, Joe. Oh, hi, Len. Come on in. I want to talk to you, Joe. Yeah? What's on your mind? Sit down. You're out of breath. Yeah, no wonder. <laughs> you better get ready for a shock. And gloating over them books ain't going to ease it none for you either. What do you mean? I always said the law was going to get wise sooner or later. Is this what you want to talk to me about? I'm busy, Len. These books here... You better use them books for lighting fires. Once that Mountie sees them, you won't be able Mountie. to... Mountie? Sergeant Preston's on the trail of the fur robberies. Is that why you think we better give up the freight line? Either give it up or start hauling some honest freight. We haul enough freight. There ain't a man in the Yukon that suspect we have anything to do with the stolen furs, and you know it. Hmm. Now, just remember this much. Preston ain't failed yet. Once he sets out on a trail, he gets his man. And I don't aim to be about when he closes in. There's always a first time. Ever hear that? Preston's been riding for a fall, and I'm going to see that he gets it. Yeah. Well, I'm betting on Preston. I'm clearing out of this, Joe. I'm leaving on the next boat from Skagway. Here, Jeff. You're staying here. I can't spare you now, and you know it. If it's a bigger cut you want, listen, Joe. You listen to me. It took a long time to build up Simon's freight line, didn't it? You stuck with it then. Driving them honest loads you're talking about the way up from Sutter's Creek through to Skagway. That's when the going was tough and the pay was small. But we build up a reputation for ourselves. Folks say we always get the good through. They trust us. There's not a man in three countries to put a finger on us. We're in the clear. We're cashing in. Now, go on out and see how Pete made out in that last call. And don't let me hear any more of this talk. And I don't like it. <laughs> no, sir, I don't like it. The last time, get out there and help Pete, will you? All right. Patience is wore out. I'm telling you, Len, if you don't dress in Preston, didn't you hear that? Hear what? He's outside. I saw him. He's coming in here any minute. Preston. Can you see him out that window? Wait, never mind. I can see him out of this one. It's a mounty, all right. You can bet your best beaver it's Preston. I'd better get them books out of the way. Here, pull out these ledges. Yeah. Uh, 
What did I tell you? You wouldn't listen to me. You knew all the answers, don't you, Mr. Simon? You clean this plate out, plaster, and anything you ever saw. Shut up. You'll be looking out from behind bars yet. And what's worse, I'm going to be looking out with you. I'll go out with Pete. Who? Yeah. Come in. Hello there, Joe. Why, right, Sergeant Preston. How are you, Len? Uh, I'm all right. I, I have to help Pete. Uh, see you later. Yeah, Len. He didn't give him a hand on that load to go to Juno. Sure. I'll tell him. Well, no wonder you run such a successful freight line, Joe. Well, we got a reputation, too, you know. We always get the freight through. Something like the mounted police, huh? <laughs> I never thought much about it, but I guess it is. Yeah, every man in the Yukon feels he can depend on you. That's what I'm in business for. Make yourself comfortable while I finish up a little figure in here. Oh, thanks. Yep. Huh. Your, uh, your men cover a good bit of territory, don't they? Yeah. Why? Well, maybe, uh, maybe you can give me some information. Oh, what kind of information? I'm looking for stolen furs being sent somewhere. My job is to find out where and who. Mm-hmm. You got any ideas? Well, uh, that's why I'm here. Oh. Well, I lead kind of a lonesome life. I mean, I don't hear much myself, being here most of the time. But the boys might be able to give you some help. Uh, when they come in, ask them about it. Well, thanks, I will. I thought I might be able to find what I'm after here. Yeah. I have heard there's been some pretty cold-blooded robberies lately. Almost a hundred in four months. Ooh. And I think they can be stopped. I hope they can. Who knows? Maybe some vomit will get the idea to start robbing a freight line. Then where'd I be? Well, i got to give the boys some last-minute instructions. There's a trail that'll save Pete a lot of time this trip. I'll be back in a minute. Just make yourself to home. Oh, thanks, Joe. We'll do that, won't we, fella? <laughs> Funny smart dog. Best in the Yukon. Hmm. He knows something, King. More than he's telling. Yes. Yes, I know. I don't like it either. I wonder. In this drawer here. Then you listen closely for footsteps. Joe's business is a little too good. And all this profit isn't coming from freight. Uh, Alec must have been right. Good thing I met him in Dawson. Uh-huh. Yes, it's all here. Lens cut, Pete, Ben... Who's been? 2,500? 1,500? Yeah. We'll go out and look at that load bound for Juno, King. Come on, boy. How much does he know? I don't know how much he knows, but he suspects something. I ain't taking any chances. Well, if he suspects something, you won't be able to throw him off the trail now. Shut up and listen to me for a change. I'll get this load of furs out of here before he starts looking around. It's too bad old Kelly stamped his pelt. I'd Molly to recognize these in a minute. Well, you go with Pete this trip. Uh-huh. As soon as these furs are in Ben's hands, we've got nothing to worry about, see? Yeah. And don't waste any time getting them to him. All right, now, Mush. Oh, wait a minute, Joe. What's he coming out here for? You'll know soon enough. I'd like to look at that load. Can't stop him now. What are you carrying, mister? Why, some gold. And the first? Why, yes, we've got some pelts on the sled. Mmm, <laughs> nice looking skin. What are you looking for, Molly? A mark. K to be. Show these first. Put your hands up. What? Put them up, I said. Oh, I was right. 
You're not only shipping the stolen furs, you're behind the robbery. Too bad for you. You got wise, Mountie. I've been wanting to flatten you out for a long time. It looks like this is it. What are you going to do with them, Joe? Suicide to put a Mountie out of the way. By the time anyone gets wise, we'll be in the States. I don't like we'll it. We'll take that boat at Juno. I'll come on up to the cabin, you. All right. Open the door, Len. Uh, get in there. Get out that fuse and light it, Ben. Then we get ready to mush. Hey, you're not... Go ready. on, beat it. What are you going to do? Setting a fuse, locking you in the cabin. And inside of five minutes, you'll be blown to kingdom come. While me and the boys are on our way out of here. I'll never get away with it. You've mushed your last trail, Monty. You got it, Len? Yeah. We don't want to waste any time. All right, I got all the money. I like that fuse. I'll take a last look at these windows just to make sure he won't be able to get out. Uh, tighter than a drum. Good. So long, Monty. Pleasant dreams. Fuse is lit and it's a long one. Give us plenty of time to get away. Might as well throw that key away now. We won't need it anymore. Let's get out of here. <laughs> March, you Malamute! March! King, outside the doomed cabin, knew his master's danger. He watched Joe toss the key carelessly to one side, and as the sled faded from sight, he burrowed in the snow till his teeth struck the metal. Then, standing under a small window, he barked. <coughs> the dog's sharp ears picked up Preston's whistle almost as soon as it left his lips. Every muscle tense, his body steeled, King leaped through the small window. Scarcely waiting for the shattered glass to collect on the floor, he dropped the key he'd carried between his teeth at the mounty's feet. King! King, old boy, you saved my life. Uh, we'll soon take care of this. Uh, fuse is cut. Now, King, old boy, after them. Come on. by Preston, King covered mile after mile of the trail to Juno. When the Mountie arrived at the busy port city, he relentlessly tracked down Joe Simon. Yep, we're making the trip this time, Ben. Clear it out just when we're... Listen, he's lucky we ain't all in handcuffs. You will be in handcuffs, Len. You're under arrest, all of you. Preston! He ain't getting me, I'm getting... Don't let him get away, King. <laughs> You're coming, Joe. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> Bring him over here, King. That's it. I'm coming. I arrest all of you for attempted murder as well as the fur robbery. Yes, King. Thanks to you, the case is closed. Upholding the motto of the Northwest Mounted Police, Sergeant Preston and the great dog King maintain the right and get their man. Don't miss their next thrilling adventure when they meet the challenge of the Yukon once again on Saturday at 6.30. Ho, of the Yukon, a copyrighted feature of the Challenge of the Yukon Incorporated, brought to you every Saturday at this time, originated in the transcripts and studios of WXYZ Detroit. The characters and events in tonight's drama were fictitious. Bill Morgan speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.